Yeah. Okay. So good morning, everyone. So my name is Nunu. I am from the Bayan Women's Union. Uh, today, I'm really pleased to uh, join the discussion together with the friends from Ethiopia uh, about and sharing the research together. So today, I will just talk about uh, uh, mainly about the research, but before the research, I'd also like to introduce uh, who is uh, the Vail Women's Union. And then I will go to the background of the research, then uh, I will share some key findings of our research in this presentation. So first, the Vail Women's Union. So TWU is uh, one of the ethnic women organizations based in the Vail, the Vail, uh, in the southern part of Myanmar. We established it in 1995 with the vision of the establishing a peaceful, liberated, just equal society in Burma. So to meet the visions, we are also working some programs. One of our programs is the Women Empowerment Program. So this program, we mainly support women to bring into the politics through our education and advocacy in the world region. Then we uh, one of the significant uh, activity is that we train the format political empowerment training with at least six women uh, every year since uh, 2017. So this is one of the most uh, effective programs that we are running. So another one is that we also train that uh, basic human rights trainees in the village level so that the people from the village, they are aware about human rights and they can promote uh, human rights in their community. So another program is a Women Against Violence program. Again, that we also include an education program. So education is that uh, we mainly train about the domestic violence and then gender-based violence uh, in the community. So apart from the education, we also support uh, services for the women survivor who have been suffering different kind of um, violences in our region. So we uh, we provide legal uh, legal support, uh, especially free or child for rape case, and then we also provide the legal advice to the some of the case uh, with or not for the rape case, and then we also support the basic. Um, uh, basic needs such as shelter and the health care, as well as the counselors under this program. So the last program is a peace and development. So previously reconciliation program. So under the, this program that we mainly support the peace educations in our region. So at the same time that the Bay Women Union is also working with the uh, different civil society organization uh, to uh, to include and to become an uh, inclusive the peace process in Myanmar. So one of these activities is that the women unions are now representing in the uh, civil society um, civil society organization committee committee for peace forum at the regional level. So which we mainly work on the peace process uh, in the region together with the other. Uh, region, other CSO from other regions as well. So again, that here we also work in on the educations uh, to uh, education around the human rights and business. For example, that when the mega projects have been implemented in our region, we make sure that people are aware of their rights regarding with the um, the investment, especially. So these kind of the activities and uh, implement it and the peace and development program. So this is um, uh, the introduction of our organization so far. So now I will move to the research part. So the research is one of the, uh, the first research that with a bigger scope that we have ever done in our region on gender equality. So first, I would like to uh, share that some of the backgrounds why we Oh, we have done uh, this research. So that the Bayan Women Union's uh, experience uh, working with the community uh, in the previous years that, so we found that um, 
uh, women participation in politics, especially in the parliament in 2015, has, has been increased so far. But at the same time, that there are also the village level leaders uh, for women. So we found that several women in our regions led in the region uh, at the village level. But uh, after the 2015 general election, there's also the by election um, in 2017. But again, that we found that uh, some of the women village leader, they were not elected again. So that is the issue that why they were not elected. Uh, so we, TDB, would like to identify the limitation or the challenges or the barriers for women uh, to participate in the leadership role or in the politics. So that is the background of our research. So we also set up some objectives before we conducted the research. One of the objectives is uh, identifying the limitation obstacles for women to take leading role at all levels. And then uh, we also want to uh, know how to create the potential opportunity for women in the future uh, to begin um, a qualified leaders. And then uh, we went on uh, the evidence-based research. So because uh, we have never done the uh, particular research regarding with the women participation or gender equality so far in the region. So this is the first uh, report that with uh, wider uh, you know they're targeted that's why that we really want to make sure this research uh, become a tool or the resource for our work so now that's the location so where we then the where we did the research so here you will see the red part of uh, this area uh, we did so there's, this is the southern part of Myanmar, so the 27 regions. There are 10 townships in total. We covered uh, nine townships in total in our research. So in terms of the target group, um, out of the uh, 10 townships, nine townships, so we pick up uh, communities. Community means that just ordinary the public. And then uh, we also included the members of parliaments and we interviewed the village administrators and then the member or executive, executive members from the political parties and the civil society organizations and the government administration department, uh, as well as the uh, member of political parties, and religion leaders and the women activists or women leaders in the region. So in total, we interviewed 1,548 uh, people in this research. So in, in, in terms of the sector, we categorize nine different groups. So you will see in the chart. So now I will go to the fighting uh, parts. In terms of findings, we have been divided into four uh, categories. One of the categories is a social perspective. So in terms of the findings, here in the chart, you will see that 98% is at the highest um, fight, uh, number here. So this number is a uh, women participation and leadership and administration rule. So particularly when we ask her, um, the question is that how women like or how do the people as uh, elected their leader? So the respondent, the answer that um, men can take a role of the leadership rather than women. So it also is spread uh, women themselves. So women answer that, okay, only men can deserve to take a leadership role. So this percentage is very high. Uh, so rather than the, they are aware that uh, we had the right to take this rule. So now they feel that they are not, this, they are not the right uh, people to take the leadership rule. So I think uh, this is uh, one of the gap that we had to struggle with the gender equality in the future. So the second highest number, you will see that 97%. So this one is an 
especially in the administration role. We, we, uh, we have two different perspectives. One is the administrative and leadership. Now it's a 97% in the, in the administrative role, so especially the government staff. Uh, so the women, they responded, they reported that only women men can uh, lead to take the administrative roles in their community. So one of these is that sometimes women say that even the there are the same um, the same qualifications between men and women in the village level election. So the people well elected men rather than women because of the, their social norms. So again, that this percentage is also the high number. So which really block women to uh, become the leaders in the um, in the community. So we also uh, found that uh, one of the social norms uh, this kind of the province province is uh, that no uh, only uh, crop crown can turn the day break. That is one of the very conservative ideas that people are believing in now. So which means that no female can uh, change. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the, no female can make a change, but only men can make a change. So the ideas look like in that way. And then another uh, promise that they are believing, if women take a, a leadership role, the country will go down and that they were running so th that the country might be destroyed by women. So that is also another conservative ideas that uh, people still believe that uh, today. So these are also supporting to become the higher percentage of the gender equality, gender inequality in the society. So you will see here that the lowest percentage here to 20 percent. 20 percent answer that um, uh, women are different. Women have uh, challenges uh, to take a um, leadership role because of that uh, they feel that unsecure uns and also that they feel the uh, lack of the legal protection if they became the, if they become the um, village administrators at the village level because uh, uh, sometimes that uh, there are five people in the administrative group but only one woman as a member of, yes out of five just there's a one women only. So they feel that it's unsafe and then not secure because of this situation. So that's why that 20% uh, of the respondents feel that women should not take a leadership role because of the reason, the several reasons. So that 74%, uh, again, that women feel that they are not skillful they are not capable in terms of knowledge or in terms of uh, skills. Um, so that is also another block for the women to take a leadership role in the social perspective. So here I will go to the another uh, point. And then overall, when we analyze this, the social sector, we saw that um, more men dominated uh, society in our uh, community. Uh, to take a leader role. And then uh, again, that we are just uh, covering, uh, we do believe in a lot of conservative uh, norms in our society, which make it an equality between men and women. Uh, that's why that um, uh, women's rights are still the challenges to uh, fully access. So another one is that also we also, uh, found that uh, the society is not supportive for the feminism. Uh, that's also one uh, issue. And then uh, another one is that uh, women are, uh, they are uh, taking the responsibility of the housework, so which is unpaid work. So taking care of children, cooking, cleaning, washing. So that's why that they are not capable or they are not available to take a leadership role. And then uh, the last significant point is um, women feel that they are not appropriate to travel overnight stay in case. For example, when women want to uh, train up, 
the, uh, the trainees in the other city or maybe therefore overnight stay, they feel that, it's, that the situations not the situation will not support them. So because of this come from the our social norms, because we have been trained that um, okay, women should not go the overnight stay and you know it, except from their own house. So that is the the idea come from this. That's why that that is also one of the challenges. So to summarize the this social perspective findings. So we have a, a lot of um, issues that no women, no women are not capable, women are not dissolving, uh, women need more time, women are busy. So that's why that when you look at the cartoon that we, um, we created into cartoon based on the five days. So women with children that they cannot easily go up above the water. It means they cannot go for the uh, leadership and they cannot uh, look for the uh, potential opportunity uh, compared to men. So men can easily uh, uh, access to the information that they have uh, no responsibility regarding with the housework, house uh, responsibility. That is why the women need to um, have uh, more rights uh, right now. So that is a social perspective. So another one under the social perspective, we also uh, try to take it out in the religion sector, what we found out uh, from the religion sector. Here, uh, we found that uh, 90 over, um, uh, yeah, so in total that we we interviewed there uh, over to 95 to, yeah, religion, religion um, leaders in this research. So the, Interesting point is that ninety-nine percent of the religion leader or respondent, they answer that uh, the religion have freedom, so there is no um, there is no uh, 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 discrimination against uh, the religion. But it said that um, forty percent answers show that uh, women have support for the employment or leader uh, elimination of the GGVB in the region. That me that some religion leaders they just provide a shelter or venue for the empowerment program or such kind of the support. But against that, 60 percent answer that the, the politics or the leadership role is not their business. That's why that the religion or religion uh, sector should not uh, try to uh, in, yeah link to the politics political issues so far. So the last percentage is 98. 98% 98 report that women need to build out their more capacity. They had to read more uh, and then they had to manage well enough in politics. Uh, also, as well as uh, they should not, uh, you know, the deny or disobey the, uh, the rule of the religion so far. So it's still that we, we found that uh, it's, there are still uh, some limitation in the religion as well. So here the red color, you will see that uh, one of the religion leader, uh, they have been mentioned that women that are not, they are not, uh, they don't have uh, enough confidence level. So men have more intelligent and they are more capable. So women, they think and just for shorter rather than long term. So that is why that based on this, you know, the praise, Phrases. So it's me that religious uh, sector also show that uh, women leadership is still not uh, capable or it's not realistic uh, in the society. So again, now we also uh, analyze the education sector here. So we interviewed that uh, 1,000, over 1,000 people from nine different sectors. We also, access, we also ask uh, about their education status. Education status here, you will see that different level of the uh, uh, schooling, education, then it is very obvious that uh, women, the number of women who access to the education in Myanmar are uh, increased, um, so compared to men. 
but here we don't really uh, we don't really culture the education for the religion because uh, uh, you will see that the last the yeah second rule of the last line so you will see that 88 member of the religion leader doesn't mean uh, so may so only five uh five uh, women here so in terms of the religion um educations that come from the religion leader are not counted here but overall when we look at here the women access the women completed uh, education more than men in the society but again even though we have a higher number that women access education in our society. One interesting point is that why women don't become uh, leaders in the society if they really uh, look at the criteria based on education because women complete in, uh, education a lot, uh, more than men. So here, between the 43% to 63% of women access to schooling from primary to postgraduate level, so it's not that uh, we can say that women don't access education. So still, women do access the right education, uh, but the women, they don't um, have a, a lot of uh, roles or rank in the community. That is very obvious. So um, compared to this situation, we also ask nine CSO, civil society organization representative, uh, in this research. So they said that um, a lot of women, uh, they don't, they cannot reach to access the training like human rights or women rights or any kind of gender training, uh, because which are not uh, teaching at the government school. So then that means that more men can reach out to the non-formal education in the society. So that might be uh, a gap to feed the gender equality, mm, yeah, according to our research. So here, that's why that, um, another one that before I explained that this uh, cartoon, so they said this answer, they responded, they answered that, um, Okay, there are women who completed the human rights trainings or gender training, but they come back to their organization, but they can only share uh, their, yes, uh, their skill or experience to other. That means that the women just come up only at the sharing level. They cannot lead, uh, they cannot take uh, the entire leadership role uh, to make a change. So we, 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 we could say that, okay, there is, um, just a path. The path is coming, but we are, this is not the end yet. So we can say like this. Uh, here, the, according to our research overall, that we have a lot of social norms, we have a lot of limitation in reality. So that's why that just as being a woman, that uh, the society, especially that include men and women, they don't allow women to just try to try it. So they just try to block before they tried it. That is why the women uh, participation or women leadership is still uh, facing with a lot of challenges. So this picture should be uh, obvious. So another one is um, we have a political and decision-making level of findings here. So this is also one of our main research, uh, one of the uh, findings that we are looking for, uh, for TWU. So you will see here, when we developed this research, the chief minister of the region was our female um, before she just, um, she, she charged with the anti-corruption uh, act. Um, so according to the answer from the different sector of the interview, 93% uh, answer that women participation mean that uh, they allow, um, they allow that women, women are also the, they have the right to involve at the process. So which means that only uh, majority of the people, they just accept the concept not the implementations. 
So this fighting came from the political parties. Uh, so when we talk about the women participation, women participation, okay, that okay, they can apply, they can include it in the comedy, or okay, they can also apply it in that position, but they don't really consider, okay, they must apply, but they, they should apply. So this is the only idea or concept. And also the another uh, understanding about the women leadership is that uh, given a position, uh, only position, is me that now we are talking more and more about the meaningful participation. So they are not really considering about the meaningful participation. They just um, ideally say that, okay, they can, they can involve, they can be in the committee, that's it. So that's why the women participation at uh, some levels, they do need their meaningful participations uh, when they work on the gender equality. So another one is that 46% uh, answer that um, some of the political parties, they developed a gender policy in, the, in, in their own parties, but uh, there are no implementations enough. So it which means that the uh, women right, they do accept, but they cannot uh, implement yet. So that is also one of the key issues that women have to struggle uh, in the future, as well as in right now. Yeah, so another percentage you will see that here, 58% women, uh, their answer should that women are not interested in politics. Uh, so this is, um, when we analyze these um, issues, it is very obvious that because in the previous slide, I have been talking about the social norm a lot, and then we have been talking about the, a lot of the educations, uh, we have been talking about the uh, religion uh, limitation. So with these um, findings or the, with these uh, situations, it is very uh, certain that women become not interested in politics because they feel that this is not uh, the, uh, the area that they had to focus on. Uh, they were focused on more on the household level, you know, the responsibility in the, with MP work. So that's also one of the points that, that might support this percentage. But when we look at here, 58% is so high because it's a double, more than double. So if the 58% of the answer show that it's women are not interested in politics, it is really challenges. And then we might have to uh, give a lot of efforts to try to open up for women. So here you will see that 23% of the respondent, they uh, answer that women have been the intimidate or fear and insecure. That this fight is came from, especially uh, in the uh, village level administration uh, role. So because uh, sometimes that women, when the women become the administrative roles, when they take this role, then, they had to uh, travel even at night. And then sometimes they had to uh, chat or follow the uh, gangsters, you know, uh, regarding with the drunks or something like that. So that women feel they're not secure. And then as well as uh, sometimes that they have the intimidated because of some reason. So be as a being the women leader. So that's it, but we see that this is only the 23% is not so high here. But here, another percentage is the 12% responded and said that uh, uh, women have no capacities. Um, that is why the, they are limited uh, to uh, participate in the leadership role. So the, based on this um, finding, you will see that um, higher percentage is more important, and as well as the most significant um, fighting is a fifty-eight percent because uh, it is much more important that how to bring women to uh, uh, to, to to connect or to or work together with the women like us.
because uh, we are just a, a minority here, but majority of the po women population became the not interested in politics. So that's why that that's also one of the points that TW has to um, work on in the future. Yeah. So here you will see the picture, uh, one of the drawing here. Uh, when you look at the picture, that you will see that uh, the symbol of men. Yeah, but there's a lot of women uh, inside. So the picture that is, uh, is mentioned that, uh, okay, there are still a lot of women. And then, but why women um, are very pure to at the leadership role? It's a very obvious because women don't support women instead. So women support men. That's why that is uh, more the man dominated um, society began, not only because of the uh, men, but also because of the women. So that is a very um, interesting um, drawing that comes from the, our findings. And then another one is um, this percentage, you will see that political and decision making process at the village level, or just previously I showed that 23% 20, already they feel the fear, uh, they feel not secure, so they feel the intimidate. That is why that this is very uh, reluctant to take a leadership role at the village level. So another one here, 58% is, uh, is this one of the points that we should consider uh, when we develop uh, gender equality work because of men, more than double, half of the percentage already showed that uh, they are not interested. So that is the main findings that we, our research have been uh, identified. So thank you very much uh, for yeah, listening with patience.